Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Shibby and today we are talking about the Scorch Shot. So the secondary weapon for Pyro and is it overpowered? That's why the title of the video is Scorch Shot OP question mark. And Spy, I almost love playing as Pyro now just because I have finally a hard counter to getting backstabbed like all the time. Alright, so our loadout here is the Extinguisher, as you see as my melee weapon, the Degreaser, and the Scorch Shot. We're not going to really talk about those other items today. They do work very well with this combination. And uh, yeah, I definitely do suggest the Degreaser, especially for the faster weapon switching, that complements the Extinguisher and just, yeah, it's just great. So this loadout is fantastic. So let's talk about the Pyro for a second. I really do enjoy, and I almost forgot that the Pyro has 175 health. That's quite a bit. I, for some reason, I just thought it was lower. I, I don't know. I don't play Pyro all the time, but I'm definitely going to play Pyro more because, one, the movement speed, the health, and just this weapon loadout is so fun. You can do so much, and you can just cause a lot of trouble. The second reason I really like this loadout, and I plan on using it more, is I want to get better at air blasting, such as reflecting soldier rockets, huntsman arrows, dumb man pills, etc. Because I think that really shows a, a nice level of skill and complements any uh, you know high level player. I don't consider myself a high level player, but I would like to get better, and why not? So maybe play some like dodgeball and all that. All right, so the topic of scorch shot being overpowered. You guys can see that it's just so spammable, I can pretty much shut down their entire team if I'm up and running just by myself. At least their entire sniper team because I hit them, they are then lit on fire and if I hit them directly I get a knockback effect that's sort of like air blasting someone. That obviously throws off their aim and when they're on fire it makes things very difficult. Pretty much the scorch shot I think is way too spammable the generous range of when you hit something and the explosion then lights things around it on fire. I, I don't know. I feel like it's just, it's too good. Uh, I'm not sure why I haven't been using it more or more people just pretty much use it almost as a primary. Basically, you'll see that I use the degreaser when I need to, kind of like to complement the score shot while the score shot is my main weapon. Like, it's, it's pretty crazy. I, I don't know. I, I feel like... This is going to be the next version of Mini Sentry. I'm uh, sure you guys will disagree in some aspects, but that's what I want to hear below, is your counter arguments to what I'm saying. Now, I mean, in this gameplay, I think I literally can shut down half their team just by spamming Scorch Shot, either into their spawn area or just around their team in general and just lighting people on fire and just, it's just really good. So, I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of up in the air about what the negatives to this weapon are other than the ammo count is a little low, but it's really not that hard to either find an ammo pack or pick up someone's down weapon because you're pretty much killing and or assisting everyone. Notice how I'm just shooting into their spawn area, not necessarily that they're coming out, but then chances are I'm going to hit someone, they're going to light on fire, extinguishing your medics and whoever on your team with your air blast and with that weapon switch from the degreaser then complements that as well. So. Let me know what you guys think about this weapon. Am I right? Am I wrong? Uh, did I miss a point here or there? But I just think, uh, I mean, if you're not going to be using the Scorch Shot, probably a shotgun, but it's just, it's just so good. I uh, just really, really think this weapon is very strong. Possibly needs a slower reload time because I can have one ready by the time the other one lands in most cases. So, yeah, I don't know. I just felt like uh, that this gameplay kind of showcases that in some way. Maybe not perfectly, but it's just, it's just a very, very powerful weapon. And maybe needs to get tweaked a little bit. Other than that, I mean, Nucleus is a great map. I definitely think air blasting is a lot of fun, especially for the control point in here. Uh, it's very frustrating when you get knocked off into the pit. That's pretty much it, guys. So once again, let me know in the comments below. Uh, team ends up winning. If you guys would rate the video for Team Fortress 2, give it a like. That would be awesome. If you're new to my channel, subscribe for more. And hopefully I will see you guys next time.